In today's video, I'm going to be talking about why boundaries are essential to healthy relationships and lives, what they look like, and how to form them. If you're someone who struggles with saying no and generally lets people take advantage of them, then this video is for you, so keep on watching. guys, Savannah here. If you've never seen my face before and you're into learning about holistic health and wellness, then start now by hitting the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell. I put out new videos each and every Thursday. If you're a returning subscriber, hey, thanks for coming back and joining me in today's video. Love you so much. But if you are new and you don't know me, like I said, my name is Savannah. I am an APTA certified personal trainer, degree chemical engineer, and your holistic health guru. This week at Blissful Bohemian, we are talking about Boundaries. Yes, that is the thing that you need for a happy life and happy relationships. If you aren't following me on social media, then make sure you do to get more tips and tricks on holistic health and wellness. I have an Instagram, a blog, and a free Facebook group. If you didn't catch Tuesday's blog post, I talk about how to say no. So if that is something that you struggle with, I know a lot of people do, then definitely go check it out. Link is down below. It's kind of like a philosophical pep talk where I try and help you learn how to reprogram yourself and shake the guilt from saying no which we're also gonna get into a little bit today. And of course, everything with boundaries, we do without being rude. We always wanna be kind and loving to others. So before we get into today's topic, comment below a situation where a lack of boundaries led to a tumultuous or disastrous time. I'll start, I'm gonna comment my story down below. Go check it out and leave your own. Why are boundaries essential for a happy life and happy relationships? you can see right now me picking up Ellie is violating her boundaries so I'm gonna put her back down because she's clearly uncomfortable and hates when I do this. Boundaries are basic guidelines that you create that tells people how they can behave around you and how they can treat you. This is very important. Setting boundaries can assure that relationships are going to be respectful, appropriate, and caring. Boundaries are kind of like a filter that allow you to strain out people that aren't going to respect you and what you're comfortable with, what you do and don't want to do, your needs, your limitations. So they're important to have because we don't want people in our life that aren't going to respect our limits. Boundaries create a sense of separateness where you can have your own feelings, your own thoughts, your own desires. You can make your own decisions and learn to both know and ask for what you want and don't want, communicate your needs without feeling like you need to please others. Big one there, right? Boundaries allow you proper self-care and prioritization of both your needs and responsibilities while allowing you to recognize that you're not responsible for the actions or feelings or desires of others. This then prevents you from overextending yourself, which if you're someone that struggles with boundaries, you overextend yourself a lot because ultimately other people's problems are not your problems. You're just responsible for yourself. And you know, maybe if you have like a pet, I had to throw that in there because someone's gonna be like, well, there's sometimes when you're responsible for more people or things than yourself, like if you have a kid, Yes, we're talking here about like consenting adults though. Boundaries also help set realistic expectations. So you're communicating where the line is, where it is, drawing it in the sand, and therefore you're not forming resentment when someone's making you uncomfortable or going too far on something that you didn't communicate. And of course, boundaries create safety. They create physical and emotional safety by keeping out what's uncomfortable and can be harmful. So what do boundaries look like? There's many different types, physical, emotional, sexual. Some examples of boundaries include saying no to the things you don't want to do or don't have the resources to do, leaving situations that are harmful to you, being aware of your own feelings and allowing your feelings to be different than others, prioritizing self-care, communicating your thoughts, feelings, and needs, pursuing your own goals and interests, sharing information gradually based on how well you know and trust someone, knowing that it's not your job to fix others, allowing others to feel what they feel even if it is negative like anger or sadness, and not allowing it to sway you from from your boundary, alone time, only eating until you are full, not taking on more than you can handle as it pertains to responsibilities and work. So how do we form boundaries? There are basically five major steps here. And the first one is the hardest if you are someone who struggles with people pleasing and not having boundaries, and that is letting go of guilt. You have to realize that it is not your responsibility to make others happy, to make them feel a certain type of way, to get their responsibilities done for them, to make them change, to make them better. It's not your responsibility how others behave or what they feel or what they want. You are ultimately only in charge of you. So that is the only thing that you can 
put boundaries around. And just stop feeling bad for falling short of what other people are telling you you have to do or be for them. Because if they care, if they love you, if they're someone that you should have in your life, they're not going to push you past your limits. They're not going to push you in a way that would make you uncomfortable or compromise your self-care. The second step is to start saying no. Saying no is hard. It's kind of like the first physical step because the first one, the first step, letting go of guilt, you're like, okay, I'm gonna stop feeling bad. And then you make the first action, which is step number two, to say no. You're gonna probably see a little bit of adversity at this step because if you're not used to putting up boundaries and the people around you probably are not used to you saying no. So stand your ground, girl. Stay on your ground. More on that in the blog post down below. Go check it out. Step number three is to then ask for what you want. Communicate what your heart desires. You can do this. I believe in you. Step number four is to let others do for themselves. I and any giver, empath type person out there knows that this is the hardest step to not want to step in and do things for people when they're falling short on their own but it's not your responsibility to fix people, it's not your responsibility to even help them. Like, yeah, you can be nice and do that, but it's not your job. And step number five is to have a plan B because people are going to cross your boundaries, they're going to violate them. Ellie is violating my boundary right now by getting into all my stuff. When somebody violates your boundary, you need to make a call on how to respond. A great thing to do always is step away, take a breath, and evaluate how they violated you, where the boundary was, and what that says about your relationship with them. Do they value you? Do they respect you? Is this someone that you really should be having in your life? Let me leave you with this. The only people who will get upset about you putting up a boundary are the people that don't respect you and the people that benefited from the boundary not existing. Keep that in mind, girl. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to learn more about how to live a natural and all around more amazing lifestyle with your health, hello, then I would love if you came to the Bohemians Facebook group. It is free to join. It's an awesome place to stay motivated and inspired on your fitness and health journey while learning more because knowledge is power. Link is down below. Be sure to click one of the two videos on the next slide to continue learning more and having fun with me. Thanks again for watching. Have a blissful day. It's my new sign off. Came up with it myself. It's not that creative, but I figured I should stay consistent with something. So have a blissful day, okay? Love you so much. Thanks for watching. You're amazing. You can say no. You can put up those boundaries. You're only responsible for yourself. Of Other people's stuff is not your problem, okay? Bye. See you next Thursday.